Welcome back to the tent. I'm spending the night. It's true. Haven't done it in a while. Tonight, I'm going to do it. And I know a lot of you out there who watch my channel really want me to spend a night and you love the tent videos. So uh, this one's for you. It's also for me because uh, I really, I love being out here. And uh, there's quite a bit of work I have to do. And my plan is over the next week or so is to um, spend a few nights here. Not in a row, like I'll go back to town, I'll come back in, I'll go back to town, I'll come back in. The luxury of this tent is where it is. It's only about 20 kilometers outside of uh, my home city. So, yeah, that's the plan over the next week. And uh, there's going to be a bit of work. I'm going to have to do like some maintenance, some, some uh, stabilization of the structure here. Because I want the tent to stay up over summer. I don't want to take it down in a week. It's too much of a pain. So I'm going to try to strengthen it in position um, because throughout the summer months, I mean, who knows what's going to happen. I won't be here that much, if at all. And uh, bears, oh man, black bears love to go inside a tent. So if a black bear comes in this tent and it's not like nice and sturdy, then there's a good chance I would, I would be showing up next December to a, a shredded tent. So I'll be doing some work. I'm going to be eating some food. I'm going to be cutting some wood. I, that's actually priority number one tonight is to get some wood. I don't have any wood right now. So I'll do that. And uh, yeah, just like relaxing, doing tent stuff. It's what I love to do, tent stuff. And so yeah, stick around. I hope you enjoy it. If you've watched my most recent video, in it I talk about a sacrificial piece of wood to lay underneath of everything, uh, underneath of your tinder, in order to have a really good fire. Today I'm not going to do it. Just going to see what happens here. And I brought a little help in order to get this to go up. It's super dry, it's just going to go up. I'm doing it. Making Joe and Zach survival proud. This stuff's going to burn off real quickly. Should be enough.
I had to take off my snow pants. It's uh, really warm. It's above zero for sure. Definitely the warmest day of the year so far. I was just sweating in my snow pants and I thought, if I'm gonna, if I'm gonna sweat, I gotta take them off so I can dry out. Last thing I want is to be sweating all day. Evening comes around, temperature starts to drop and I've got wet legs to be a bad idea. So it really is that warm. I mean, I'm bald and I'm not wearing a hat. It is that warm. So I got a new snowmobile. It's not new. It's secondhand. And you guys might be thinking I'm a bit crazy because I bought that other machine about two months ago. But the fact of the matter is I did not like that machine. It was not, uh, it was not good enough when it comes to utility use. This machine, I've had a few of these in my life, this, these exact models, and uh, I've always wanted the red, so lucky me, I get a red. Um, and so essentially I sold my machine, I bought this one, I paid a little bit extra, but not that much. To me, it's worth it. Um, it only has a thousand kilometers on it, so I feel like it's gonna last a long time. It is a four stroke, and I am very familiar with these machines. And uh, yeah, I like it because it has the back rack, and it's very comfortable. And it does what I need it to do, which is to get me back and forth to my tent, essentially, and to haul uh, my boggin, you know, full of stuff. And it does a very good job at that. It's nothing fancy. It really has a face only a mother could love. And, uh, but it's, it's perfect for me. I'm not like the biggest, strongest guy. And some of these big utility machines that um, you'll see out there are just too much for me. That, that's, that's the way it is. This one... It's almost like it's perfect. It's not too big, it's not too small. <laughs> it's just the size of Montreal. Oh, okay. Anyway, uh, yeah, I like it. Really got to thank everybody for watching over the last couple of years. It's been, it's been pretty amazing. Like I'm one of these small channels and uh, it's really just a hobby for me. I come out here, sit in the smoke like this and it's just like, if I can get out, if I can find time to do it, I really want to do it. And the fact that I've gone from, you know, 500 subscribers last year to over 20,000 this year, it's, I'm so happy. It's, it's a nice hobby. It's super fulfilling for me. I love getting comments. I love commenting back. And uh, it's just been really rewarding for me to do this. Also, the channel really gets me out. Like, I think I would get out anyway, but with this YouTube channel, there's a little more pressure for me to get out because you guys are asking me to get out all the time. And I actually like that. It's, uh, it's good because when I get out here, I feel really good. I'm very focused. And so it's, it's just wonderful. It's just a wonderful experience. And the truth is, I wouldn't be doing it without you guys. And, and it's just been so great to be able to do this. It's gone far beyond what I ever could have imagined. And of course, you know, I'd love to have a million subscribers. Who wouldn't want to have a million subscribers? But for now, this is just perfect for me. Just cruising along like this, coming up to my tent, eating sausages, drinking coffee. It's just been amazing and I've learned quite a bit so like the theme of my channel is just like learning as you go I, I think it actually is learning as I go in northern Canada um, and I really have learned a lot I've also forgotten quite a bit of what I've learned um, but I always keep trying and keep coming back and keep challenging myself and it's it's just wonderful that I was able to get off of my butt I was one of these people who watched non-stop watching people at their tents at their cabins and i'm just thinking to myself how can i get out there like I, I really can't afford a cabin what can i do i'm gonna get one of these tents and that's exactly what happened and as you know i mean clearly i'm here um and it's it was all it was just so worth it it was just so worth it and it's just a little part-time thing that i do and it's 
it's really kind of changed my life. It's given me like a goal and something to work towards and a bit of a dream. It's like, how far can I take this little hobby of mine? I get to be creative. I get to be out on the land. I get to ride a snowmobile. I get to sleep in a tent. It's like the perfect combination for me. And I get to challenge myself and, and be scared sometimes and, and take risks and face challenges. And that's what life's all about. That's what I'm kind of learning as, as I get older. Oh yeah, those are done. That is perfect. That is perfect. Sausage on a stick. Supper before supper. Oh yeah. So this is what that one tree provides me. It's pretty good. I don't know if it'll get me through the night to be honest. There's some wood there that I can throw in the big junks and they'll probably they'll probably go quite a while. I think I'll leave the biggest two or three for uh, when I'm sleeping. And so I'm just trying to wait until I start. I want to go the absolute latest I have to go before I, I feel like I need heat from a fire. Sky. Beautiful.
Well, it's definitely warmed up in here now. Stove's pumping pretty good. I do have my hat on. I mean, it's not... I wouldn't say it's... I'd say it's around 7 or 8 degrees in here. Much colder outside on the other side of those walls. Temperature's really dropped now that the sun's down. So I'm just going to have a little nip of vodka and ginger ale. I'm going to make myself a meal. And as always, there's an onion. Salt and pepper. Oh, my God, that looks good. I'm going to dig into this meal and I'm going to eat everything that is on my plate, including the skin. Some people don't like eating the skin of fish. I love it. It's delicious. If you fry it skin down for three quarters of the length you need to cook the fish, the skin gets nice and crispy. You turn it over just for a little bit, 
It's moist, super delicious, crispy skin, unbelievable. It is farmed salmon and I don't feel bad about that for one second. And this little uh, goulash potato extravaganza I have on the go is amazing. This might be the latest supper I've had since university. It's almost 10 o'clock and I'm eating a monster meal. But I feel like it's going to keep me warm throughout the night. Alright folks, stove is stocked, bed is made, I'm full, and uh, the vodka, a little tickle, and I thought the Northern Lights were going to be ripping tonight, but they're not, um, they're pretty weak actually, so I figure I'm just going to climb into bed, it's almost 11 o'clock, hopefully I make it till daylight. I'm doubtful. I think I'm going to have to get up in the middle of the night and put some wood in there. Hopefully I don't have to start from scratch because I don't want to do that at 3 a.m. But uh, anyway, the tent is nice. It's it's really nice right now. It's, it's a perfect temperature. I'm thinking it's probably, well, close to the stove, it's about 25 degrees. In the back corner of the tent, it's probably about 5. It really varies that much from one side to the next. Uh, that's the downside of having a tent this big without insulation or double walled, but uh, it's good and I'm parking my bed right next to the stove and when I wake up in the morning I'm gonna have some beans and some sausages. Stay tuned for that. Okay everybody, bit of an update. It's uh, almost 3.30 in the morning and I could at one point, I was so hot last night in my sleeping bag. I had to, uh, I had to like let let some cold air in. It was just too much. I I just couldn't do it. Um, and then eventually I was able to fall asleep. I slept pretty. I I fell asleep pretty pretty hard. I have to say. It's been about four and a half hours since I fell asleep. And uh, then. You know, it's there comes a moment in the middle of the night when you're cold, and uh, I knew it was quiet and cold, so I knew something was up with the stove. And sure enough, it it was gonna go out. It was at it was at a point where it's about to go out. So I threw some wood in on top of some of those coals, and uh, about within about two minutes, bam, it was it was going. And uh, luckily, I woke up while there were still some coals left. Anyway, 
I'm gonna lie down and see if I can get a few more here. Good morning. Look at that. I had a good night's sleep. Really good actually. The sleeping bag was very warm. I could really feel my body heat like just building up within the sleeping bag throughout the night. And I'd turn my back a little bit towards the stove and then oh it would warm it would warm up so nicely. Um, I heard an owl probably I don't know maybe about an hour or so after I uh, after I woke up there in the middle of the night. It was pretty cool sounding. It, it woke me up, and it's not a sound I'm used to hearing. So hearing that was pretty neat, and it made me wonder, like, I know there are a lot of rabbits around here, and it made me wonder if if maybe it was uh, looking for a meal. Anyway, I'm looking for a meal. I'm going to have some breakfast here in a bit. I think the first thing I'm going to do, though, is have a cup of coffee. Then I'm going to make some uh, beans with uh, sausages. It's going to be real basic, beans and sausages. And um, and then I'm going to go back. I have some errands I have to run in town. And then I'm going to prepare to come right on back. We have some leftovers. Some of the uh, potatoes and carrots and onion from last night. I left some for breakfast. I'm gonna have uh, beans and I'm just gonna throw it just like this. I think tin foil right back on. I'm gonna have beans and sausages with it. Let's see what happens. Might spill a bit, but whatever.
So this is part one of what I'm hoping is a bit of a series, like I said at the beginning of the video. And if you like this video, please share it, uh, subscribe if you want to subscribe to the channel, like it, comment. All that stuff really gets the channel going, gets it moving even more and more and more. And uh, what do you think of the idea of a little bit of a series, just you know, me at the, at the tent for a week? I'm not going to put them all out um, you know, one day after the other. I'm going to stretch them out over a week or two, a couple of weeks, three or four weeks, whatever it is. Um, and this is episode one. So, I hope you really enjoyed this. I certainly really enjoyed my time. I had an amazing sleep last night, maybe one of the best sleeps I've had in weeks. So, it's, uh, it was good for me and I hope it was good for you. I'm going to eat this meal and I'll be back really soon. Thanks so much for watching everybody.